Welcome to another episode of What is Hashimoto's with Dr. Martin Rutherford. To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com. And now, here's Dr. Rutherford. So the question today is, can you be thin with hypothyroidism? So that, you know, none of these thyroid questions are really all that straightforward. <laughs> okay, so hypothyroidism, first of all, the caveat is, is how many people actually have hypothyroid? And the answer is almost very, 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 very few. If you have a hypothyroid and your thyroid's slowing down, the answer is why? Why is your thyroid slowing down? And, um, and, and so there are a lot of things that can affect thyroid function, but to actually put you in hypothyroid to where your TSH number is to a point where your doctor pronounces you hypothyroid, usually there's going to have to be some reason that your thyroid has slowed down and is not making enough thyroid hormone. And the vast majority of the time is because you have autoimmune thyroid disease and nobody's figured it out yet. And so, so I, I think even the Mayo Clinic now is saying that 85 to 95 percent of people who have autoimmune thyroid disease is actually Hashimoto's. And and the reason that can happen is because it can take seven years. Maybe, well, maybe your doctor's not even looking to see if you have autoimmune thyroid disease. Um, and and even if you have it, it could take like seven years from the time that it's triggered until the time that you start really seeing antibodies and you start seeing your thyroid hormone go off. And then you can, and then you go through, the only time, the only way you're thin is if you haven't had enough damage to your thyroid yet. And, 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 and usually at that point in time, nobody's even really looking at a thyroid problem because usually your doctors aren't gonna look at a thyroid problem for you unless you're fatigued and putting on weight. And if you are thin and you have been diagnosed with um, hypothyroidism, uh, the greater likelihood is that you probably need to look further. You may be the thin Hashimoto's patient. About 10, 15 percent of people are thin with Hashimoto's, um, with hypothyroid Hashim with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. But, um, and, 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 if, and if that's you, in other words, you went to the doctor, your thyroid stimulating hormone is high, which means you are hypothyroid without getting into that whole thing, then, um, then you might want to, and you're wondering, you know, could I have Hashimoto's? It's, it, at that point, it's about, it's about the symptoms. Are you having hyper symptoms? Because hypothyroid slows everything down. I'm depressed, I'm fatigued, I'm putting on weight, my hair's falling out, my bowels don't work, I got constipation. It's, and, but, if you are, but if you can't put on weight, if, you're, if you have anxiety, panic attacks, if you have inward tremors, you have heart palpitations for no reason at all, insomnia, night sweats, there's a good chance that you're the thin Hashimoto's patient as opposed to the thin hypothyroid patient, which I don't even know if thin, hypo, I, I mean, I don't think, I don't, I don't even think thin hypothyroid patients actually exist. I really think it's what I'm talking about here. And this is, as you're listening to me talk, and you're seeing my eyes flip around, I'm, you know, I'm looking into my, into my memory, because this is all I do, is see Hashimoto's patients. Like, it's like probably 85, 90% of my practice, no matter what they come in with, they, ha they tend to have Hashimoto's as well. So, and, and my understanding of it is as I'm, as I'm sharing it with you. So, uh, so I would, I would, if, I guess my best answer is, is if you're thin and you've been told you have hypothyroid, I would assess myself for those symptoms, uh, hyper symptoms, anxiety, panic attacks, and we're tremors, um, heart palpitations for no reason at all. It's a biggie, insomnia, night sweats can't put on weight, you're thin, you can't put on weight and they're telling you you're hypothyroid. And I see these patients, I, I do see these patients, okay, that have been told they have hypothyroid and they ended up having Hashimoto's. I would ask myself those questions first. And if you're, and if you're having any of those symptoms, then I would ask my doctor to check me to see if I have Hashimoto's because really the chances 
of you having Hashimoto's with a hypothyroid diagnosis is 90% minimum, minimum. I, I, would say it's, I, I would say it's actually more than that. And, there are, and Dr. Hashimoto's in 1912, he said all thyroid issues are actually autoimmune thyroid disease. And there's an awfully good chance that he's correct with that. So a little rambling there, but, 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 but all that's good data, all that's, all that's factual clinical data based on, that's the data I use day to day to address patients. So I would, I would kind of, I would kind of relook at this and, 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 and look at that flow and, and, and based on the question that you have, you should be able to figure out maybe what your next step should be. Thank you for joining us for another episode of What is Hashimoto's? To find out more on any of our topics or for information on scheduling a consultation with Dr. Rutherford, please visit us at whatishashimoto's.com.